the news doesn't get any better than this because the rocket is on the pad. The rocket is on the pad and we are right here, right here. I'll tell you, looking straight at it. I can't wait to bring this to you. Here we go. For a while, we weren't all that sure as to whether or not we were going to be allowed to film the pad at all. There was some talk that we were going to be chased away or had to follow some sort of vehicle to a different location, but where we went was absolutely fantastic. Although I wasn't taking any chances, so I was going to get as much footage of Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon as I possibly could, just in case we did have to drive away. So, weren't exactly get allowed to get right up to the pad. Didn't quite get right up to the pad, guys, but I tell you, close enough. Check it out. Yes, ma'am. I have to admit, this is a first for me. I have never been this close to a human-rated rocket, especially less than 24 hours from liftoff. It was just an incredible thought to consider that this rocket and this spacecraft are going to be carrying two astronauts up to orbit for a six-month stay on the International Space Station. I've seen Challenger take off. I've seen the Atlantis take off, but I have never been this close to a human rated spacecraft before and i'll tell you something it gave me goosebumps
guys, this is a moment I did not begin to expect the opportunity to see it. Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon up close and personal less than 24 hours before this rocket lifts off for the ISS, taking up a rescue mission to bring back those two astronauts. Really amazing experiences that I can't wait to bring to you, but still, this is the highlight of everything. I'm glad I was able to bring you all of these details first. So until next time, stay angry about space.